After weeks of uncertainty, the West Coast Wilderness Railway looks to be back on track. The federal government has announced it will provide $6 million for critical upgrades. The state government has also jumped on board, but an operator still needs to be found. Today, some good news for a tourist attraction steeped in history. The original railway was built in the 1890s to transport copper and passengers between Queenstown and Strawn. Exactly 106 years later, a restored track was officially opened in 2003. The federal and state governments pouring close to $35 million into the project, restoring the 35-kilometre track. But three weeks ago, the federal group announced it would stop operating the railway because of dwindling passenger numbers and escalating management costs. The decision came just halfway through a 20-year lease and threatened to close the attraction. But today, a lifeline was thrown by the federal government. The federal government will fund up to $6 million to keep this rail back on track. With the 33 jobs and $10 million a year the railway earns for the West Coast, today's news brings relief for the locals. Oh, it's just tremendous, absolutely tremendous for tourism, on, tourism operators on the West Coast and I think in Tasmania generally. A lot of West Coast operators, uh, their livelihood is dependent on today's announcement and, and, and that's, that's what's critical here. The rescue package requires the state government to find an operator and underwrite ongoing operational costs for the next four years. We will provide the capital costs for the upgrade but we require others including the state to commit to funding to keep this sustainable and hopefully that the state government will support the West Coast because they get enough money out of us. Hopefully they will see the wisdom of supporting the West Coast. Late this afternoon it announced it would commit $1.4 million a year. We wanted to build certainty, that's why the federal government's played a role with infrastructure, that's why the state government has played a role with the operational funding and now we need the local community and the private sector to play their role uh, to make sure that we can build a sustainable business. Stephen Pink, Win News. Now to the New South Wales flood.